Yeah, this is such a cool area, guys. Check this out. I'm over here in Jom Tien. I'm in Jom Tien, Pattaya, Thailand. And we are on Beach Road. They're not quite done with the construction here. As you notice, there'll be some unfinished work. But what they did is they cleared it off so people can use the footpath. And we're taking it, shooting a video for the first time here in Jom Tien Beach. So this is our quick little video with Kitty. Yeah. And we're gonna give you guys a quick update what's happening with the Thai girl. With what? Thai girl? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's happening with the Thai girl? No, walk with Thai girl. Walk with Thai girl? Walk with Kitty? Walk with Kitty. I could put walk with Kitty video. What do you think? Good. You guys, what's it take to live here? It takes a little willpower. A little energy and I'm not gonna BS you you gotta have a little bit of money don't come here with no money let me give you an example don't come here with with no plan no money a plan equals money I'm not gonna beat around the bush about that if you're coming here to have holiday have a holiday budget three thousand bucks two weeks You'll live like a king on that. Three thousand dollars. So that would be three thousand five hundred dollars for two weeks. Holiday in the for a holiday, yeah, and that's a good, good holiday. You'll be drunk every night. You'll have a nice hotel. You'll take girls home if that's what you want. If you're with a partner already, you have a nice place to go. There you go. Don't come with no money. You you're coming to live here. You need money to live here. You can, you can walk alone. You can travel alone in Thailand. Be safe. Yeah. You'll be safe. Yep. Yeah, with our, but you got to have money, Kitty. If you have money. So you have to have some money. You can't come here and have no money. And, and I'm not saying you need a huge retirement. In America, we have what they call Social Security. And is that enough to live out here? Well, Depending on your lifestyle. There's someone without a lady, without a girl, then it's okay. Yeah, if you don't have a lady or a girl, it yeah. is okay, Kitty. If you have the lady, you might you save your money girl. then. Yeah, if you have a lady, have a girl. You're spending money. Yeah, three thousand five hundred. I think no, not enough. <laughs> but don't come out here without any money. Have something. Have. <coughs> Set aside two, three thousand dollars a month if you're gonna live out here. If you're on a fixed income, yeah, it's beautiful. If you're on a fixed income and you want to live out here, make sure that income's close to two thousand. You can do fifteen hundred, no problem. You won't have a problem. I've done budget videos. We did an experiment with an expat or a visitor that stayed three months on a thousand dollars a month and it worked. Now that did not include big expenses such as getting your visa renewals or your medical insurance. They include his scooter rental, included all that kind of stuff, where you're staying at. Um, yeah, let's go. So it can be done. It can be done. So I mean the message of this little video is don't come here without some money. Man, you don't need to be rich. Your little income you have in the United States, you will be rich. If you already have a good retirement, my, my goal of people who have money, who have a retirement, is still stick to a budget, because you will spend it. Especially if you're a single guy, it is easy to spend money. You know, like Kitty was saying, hey, girl, 3500 Of course, she's joking. But if you are a single guy and you want to go out to the bars and party and have Western food every night, you know, expensive food, you're going to pay for it. And it's quite silly to think that you can come out here because Thailand is so cheap and you can make it on nothing. It is quite silly. And there are a lot of people that come out here have nothing wow, so and yeah. they don't do anything. It's your life. What lifestyle do you want? What quality of life? When we did that experiment for three months for a thousand dollars a month, I mean, you're talking you're only eating the dude ate once a day. 
So, and they live beachfront. So it's still a good life for them, but not for me. Someone like me, no way, never do it. Yeah, check out that beach, guys. Can you see that? I hope you all can see what, what we're looking at. Yeah, I'm showing sunset right there. Gorgeous, isn't it, guys? Yeah, the sidewalk, again, construction's happening, and they decide to lift it all up so we can walk. And we're right by Soy 9 area here in Jomtien, so if you want to look on a map, you find the wombat. We're close to the wombat. So, yeah, so it's just, uh, looks like just raw cement laid down. And then they put those uh, bricks on top of it. And there's the pallets of bricks right there. Pallets of bricks. Well, let's, uh, yeah, all right. Kitty's saying we can walk. So there's the bricks. And uh, people are enjoying the sunset. Look at that. Watch where you're walking, Kitty, that thing's sticking out of the ground. So yeah, this whole 10 minute video is supposed to be me hammering you guys to bring money. If you're coming from a country other than America, I don't know what your retirements or your social security is like. But the nice thing in America, the social security is quite high. So you can survive in Thailand and have medical insurance. So you can do it. It is doable. Another little thing is, if you're over like 65 years old and you get Medicare in the United States or whatever it is, the government medical system, you use that as your medical and you just get some sort of travel insurance. And if you have an incident, you fly back, take care of it in America. So that is a way of doing it. Just put enough money away to fly if you're healthy enough to fly. If you're not, you have uh, that uh, travel insurance to take care of you. So there's little tricks you can do. You want to do it on the cheap. Yeah. I think when I go to America with you, I think I miss Thailand. You will miss Thailand, Kitty. So yeah, anyways, guys, we have these restaurants. What was that? And people walk to me. Yeah, America is very nice. I America is really America. nice. There are nice people there, but I think there are nicer people here. Way more nicer people here in uh, Thailand than America. Sorry, Americans. I mean, I love my country, but nothing beats Thailand. People have nice everywhere. Oh, we're doing construction right here. Yeah, I wonder. We can't walk around that way because they're blocked that all off. Let's let's cross. All right, we're crossing all the way, guys. All right, there we go. Now we got it straight. So they're doing a cement pour right there. And we're in the middle of high season. So construction here. I mean, they've really been working on this road a lot. So we're in Jom Tien, right in the middle of Jom Tien. Bragging on you guys about bringing money. Don't come here or you'll be sleeping with the soy dogs without any money. Don't come here without money. Soy dog. Yeah, you don't want to be sleeping like a soy dog. And there are homeless people here. There are people who don't have money. I've seen this French dude. Not two bucks to his name, but I think he might have been doing something else he shouldn't have been doing. But that happens. So come here with a few bucks in your pocket. You will be happy. Come here, have a good time, live that best life. Live on the beach with me under $1,000 a month. Okay, I budget $2,500 a month. But that $2,500 a month goes a long ways. I never spend it all. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this style of content. I hope you like our walking videos 
and uh, we'll see you back here in Jomtien in a matter of moments.